What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick sponsored guide, I'll be showing you Shaker.ai. Shaker.ai is a image generation website where you can get watermark free, free image generations done every day with a free account. And you can download high quality, safe for work models to generate images from. It's similar to Civit.ai, another popular AI model website, but this one is focusing specifically on safe for work models. And on top of this, they offer a premium membership that offers membership exclusive models that can be used for commercial purposes. Let's get into all of that now. All right, so on the shaker.ai website, we'll first of all log in in the top right or create an account for which we can use Discord, Google, or just create an account here. Upon doing so on the models page, you'll see that they have tens of thousands of models here focused on anime, portraits, and everything like that, very similar to other websites. They've got preview images for which you can then find a model that you want to use, for example, maybe Comic V2, click on it, and you'll be given not only an option to download the checkpoint to use locally inside of something like Automatic 11 or Comfy UI. And of course, you can choose to run the model on their website for which you can generate a ton of free images every day. If we click this run model button over here, to create images with this model, for example, you'll see that when we do, we're taken across to this page, we're given 200 free credits, which should refresh every day, and we can pretty much just start creating as is. On the left, you'll see some inspiration for which you can find something that you like and click it in order to preview it, or click the small icons below it, such as send to canvas, in order to send it to your canvas in this middle section here. You'll see the positive prompt as well as the negative prompt that was used to create the image, the model itself, as well as any lowers that could have been used as well. These are like dialistic plugins for different checkpoints. If you want, you can click this little button in the top right to copy it to your panel on the far right for generating more images in this style. So if we were to click send to generator, it'll fill in all of the same information as was used to generate this image over here. And if we chose to just click generate, for example, it'll generate a very similar image, if not pretty much exactly the same. At the very bottom, you can even adjust the image size to many different options, as well as the number of images that will be generated. The more images you generate, the more the image generation will cost in tokens, and of course the image size as well also has an effect on the price. So generating a 512 by 512 image is just one token, but if we generate a 2 by 2K image, it'll cost us seven tokens. Obviously, as more compute and better higher powered GPUs are required to generate such an image. You can customize everything from the positive prompt as you would usually, the negative prompt to improve or fine tune the model. At the very bottom, you'll also find presets which you can use if you want to generally improve your images, but you're not too sure what kind of things you should include in the negative prompt over here. Of course, we've already got a checkpoint loaded, a LoRa as well to add some style, and we can adjust some parameters like image generation, sampler methods, sampling steps, and of course the seed at the very bottom if you'd like to pretty much regenerate images based off of a fixed seed. Finally, we also have a fix face and hand option which allows you to choose an add-on to fix the face or fix hands, assuming you've got something wrong with your image. You can add both of these if you wish just by clicking the plus, and now images that include faces and hands should be a little bit better. The more that you add here, the more the image generation will cost. But of course, most of these will come out of your free daily tokens. Anyways, if I generate a 2x2k image based off of the same prompt as this image here, by clicking generate, it'll use seven of my free 200 tokens, and we can simply hold control and scroll down to zoom out of our pretty much infinite canvas over here. You can bring in as many things as you want, generate as many images, etc. And there we go. You can see my image was generated here. If you want to further improve your image or work in it, at the very top, you'll see in painting, which we can use to select different portions of the image and recreate them. For example, if you want to redo the face or the hair, you can select it here and type in a different prompt. Now, as you can see, it uses the segment anything model, which tries and picks out different features from an image and more easily allows you to select things. For example, here it's automatically painted out the hair and we can click on it if we want to interact with it. Or at the very bottom, you can use a lasso tool or a marquee tool to select exactly what you want to use. For me though, I'm pretty sure that the auto segment for the hair over here is a pretty good option. We can further customize what happens. We can regenerate everything except for what we have highlighted or just what we have highlighted and even undo, redo or clear selection. I'll click the hair over here and we'll change it from blue hair to maybe blonde hair. We can inpaint and we get a side-by-side -side comparison that we can pull across. Obviously, it wasn't the best result that came from this, but further tweaking to our prompt should have improved things.
I don't think I'll be saving this at all. So I'll click our original image at the very bottom and let's remove pretty much everything from our positive and negative prompt over here. Instead, we'll just click here and we'll type in something like blonde hair, making sure that the hair is selected, which it is, and we'll just click in paint. This should only replace just this and I assume our prompt should be a little bit better now. It shouldn't try and generate the entire thing inside of the smaller area that we've selected. And yeah, this seems to be a lot more successful. We have a much better looking image which we can choose to keep by sending it to our canvas to keep it as a separate image or we can just replace it outright. At the very top, I'll click exit. Just like that, we've now created a second image, which we have over here, and we have our original one too. This is what the canvas is for. You can put as many images as you want here, customize them each individually, move them around, and make it look the way that you want. I think I'm pretty happy with the image that we generated here. I'll mouse over it and choose download in the top right. This will save your image straight to your PC in full quality. And the best part about this is that I haven't paid anything. It's a completely free account that I've just created. And now we have a fully generated AI image here of actually really good quality, with absolutely no watermarking of any kind, which a lot of sites actually do have. There's a bunch of other things that you can do here, including removing backgrounds. So if we have the image highlighted and we choose remove background, bam, the background is removed pretty much instantly at no cost in points. We can choose to save the image if you wish by clicking exit at the very top and downloading it here as well. Now, not only do we have the original image, but we also have another copy with the background removed. On top of this, should you wish to take your image even further, select it, choose upscale at the very top, and we can pump up the dimensions quite drastically as well. This of course is rather costly depending on the size of your image. You can push it actually pretty insanely high. There is a limit here of about 4K by 4K and it'll cost 110 credits. Obviously, I won't be upscaling an image like this, but the option is here, especially if you're generating much cheaper, much smaller images like 512 by 512, perfecting it and then upscaling afterwards to save a lot more tokens wise. If we select the image and choose remover at the very top and we want to remove, say, the necklace over here, just make sure you have the lasso tool or marquee tool selected. Select the necklace here, for example, just by drawing around it. If we choose remove, it'll use in painting or another kind of removal AI in order to get rid of whatever we have highlighted. And just like that, the actual object that we selected was removed at no cost to us tokens wise. If instead we select maybe just the second necklace over here by drawing around it roughly, we should be able to remove it and it does a surprisingly good job of removing it. Most of these tools you can find in things like Affinity Photo or Photoshop anyways, but it's nice to have it in an online canvas like this where you can generate images directly and interact with them immediately afterwards. If we choose to keep this and just click exit, instead of undoing our changes, we can select it, choose to upscale it, remove the background, or even in-paint it with AI to change how things look, etc. Finally, besides the crop option, if you want to zoom into an image, there's also Out Paint, which is currently in beta, that you can use to expand the actual environment that this image is in. So if we were to select this, we would be able to out paint it, but this image is just a little bit too large. If instead we select the original image at the very top and then choose out paint, we should be able to upscale this one by dragging one of the sides out. Let's say just out to there, for example, we should be able to then just out paint it and AI should use its best ability to out paint our image, adding detail to where there wasn't detail previously. And of course, as we've selected an image that we've previously generated on the right, it's also filled in all of the info that we need to generate the same image it'll use the same prompt information to create a hopefully visually coherent image. And there we go. We've got yet again another option to drag it across. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job of generating more image where there wasn't previously. For the most part, it is mostly visually coherent. And if we choose to generate it again, we'll get a slightly different result as long as your seed is set to random on the far right. So that's not too bad. I'll send it to the canvas so we have another copy and I'll exit out of it. If we choose the collage option at the very top, we can take two or more images that are already on our canvas and stick them together in a collage. So it's taken over here a picture of a person as well as, I don't know, some cotton candy clouds, and it's combined them together into one. If we drag a box selecting these two images over here and click the collage option at the very top, we'll generate just one image, so 10 tokens. We can add some pointers for what we want the AI to do, but I think I'll just leave it as is with two images selected and we'll click collage. I'm not too sure what it'll do here as we haven't got a specific prompt where we want to combine these two in a specific way, say swap the hair or something like that. I've selected two completely different visually looking images and we'll see what it spits out 
as a collage. And there we go, this is what we got out as the collage. Uh, nothing too crazy, it's just stuck the two images side by side and sort of added some grey to it. Of course that didn't go too successfully, so we'll instead reposition our second image to be next to the first one as such, and let's try stick these two together by selecting them both and then choosing collage. Maybe something a bit better will come out of this. We'll say something like two women standing next to each other with particles in the background. Sounds pretty good. We'll leave it as two images, that's fine, and we'll generate our collage. This time hopefully we get something a little bit more visually coherent or creative, I suppose. And then we go, it's mostly just stuck these two images next to each other and done a little bit of work refining exactly what they look like. Not the best result, but I assume this collage feature is more specifically for generating one image, moving it onto another image, and then combining them in some way that should make things look a little bit better. Here, I think these images were just a little bit too different and it didn't really know what to do with it, so this is what came out of it. So I think, again, it's more supposed to be like you generate, say, a dress or something and you move it across cross over your other image and mix them together in this sort of way. Now that we've done all of this, we've tried out all of the features and we've generated a whole bunch of images with our free tokens, I've not even used one quarter of what were allocated every day. Out of 200, I've only used probably 33 of them, so there's still a ton of generating that I could do here with different models and lowers, for example, so I can head back to the main site and find a different model here to use, or even from the drop down on the side, we can take out our base model here, select a different model, say from the For You tab over here, and choose something like the standard SD3 model, for example. Then we can choose to remove our LoRa, as I don't think there are currently any LoRas for SD3. Now there seems to be a couple of them here that we can use. So we could select something like one of these here, say we want a circle art image. And now with everything selected, we'll keep our prompt as is, just to see what'll happen. And we'll instead just generate a new image with a slightly smaller size, just to save on tokens a little bit. And bam, there we go. This is the image that came out of SDXL with the circle art LoRa. Pretty cool. Again, we could choose to download this or fine tune it further based on what we want. And of course, we again have a completely free generated image that has no watermark on it. The main part about using websites like Shaker.ai is that you can do all of this from a PC or even a laptop with no GPU in it and get some pretty good results out of it. As downloading this to use on our own PC, for example, we can download the actual checkpoint and run it on our own PC, being about a 5 gig download, but we will need a huge amount of VRAM in order to get this to work properly and quickly, more importantly. Websites like this that allow us to generate images completely for free with no watermark are fantastic options. If we scroll down here and choose something like, let's see, a more line drawn slash cartoony style and choose to run the model, it'll import it to our collage and we may need to remove incompatible lores on the far right to keep everything working properly as this is now using Stable Diffusion 1.5. I'll leave the prompt pretty much as is, removing the circle art lore prompt and we'll generate yet another image. And bam, there we go, a pretty good looking line art drawing image. Fantastic. So again, we've only used about a third of our tokens now at about 150, and this is everything that we got out of it. Obviously, if you somehow run out of generations in a day generating way more than I have here, you can click the icon in the top right where you're able to look at their membership options. This is of course where money comes into it. You can sign up for a one-year plan or a month-by-month -month plan, and you'll get a couple of things out of it, including their premium models that include commercially usable models, etc., that you can use to generate images that are more suitable for work environments, etc. Though, of course, do keep in mind that commercially usable AI is very questionable nowadays. It's a legal gray area and it's still being debated as time goes on. AI has progressed much faster than the legal systems, for example. So if you're going to be using this in settings where you need commercial licenses, just make sure to double check your work and double check the model creators, what it was trained on, etc. Just to make sure that you can actually use them as it's just such a gray area. And of course, again, if you don't even want to use any of the paid models, here, you can wait and you'll have another 200 tokens to use the following day. And that's it. So if you're interested in trying out Shaker.ai's image generation on the website or just downloading high quality models, then you'll find a link down below that you can use to access it. On top of this, if you choose to upload models and things like that here, you can maybe even get something out of it, like in this banner that you see here, as Shaker.ai's goal is to ensure that creators receive fair compensation for their work. And this is the promotion that they have going on currently, where you could earn something back for publishing your models, lowers, etc. All of the information is here 
available on the banner at the very top of the page. And of course, if you find this entire website confusing, which is a possibility, when you're in the AI Generator tab, there's a tutorial section in the top left that takes you across to a incredibly lengthy document with tons of information about how to do everything you'd really want to do with this platform. It's really well put together, and I usually wouldn't do sponsored guides like this, but this website does seem rather promising, and the amount of watermark-free images that you can generate completely for free on a free account is actually pretty surprising and a really good positive thing about this site. So, anyways, once again, you'll find a link down below if you'd like to try this out. Thank you to Shaker.ai for sponsoring this video. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao! And a special thank you to Superior Emerald for being an ultimate supporter.